Hi everyone, it's time for today's video based on New York Times connection game. It's basically a game where you create four groups of four words from 16 given words. You have seen the thumbnail, so you know what the first group we are discussing is. Watch to the end of this video and I will also tell you the other three groups of four words, what each word means, and what they have in common. Following words are for forthright, direct. Now, direct can be direct or direct, can have different multiple different multiple pronunciations. Direct means can be a noun, can be an adjective, it can be a verb. So as an adjective, fortnight, direct. I told him directly what to do. This is a direct order. Go directly. So direct, direct. I, that is, I am, that is a direct command. I am giving you the command direct, directly, direct. Did you tell him directly that you wanted to fire him? Yes. Indirectly, not so direct, right? These were her direct, his direct words, their exact verbatim words. Can I go there directly? No, you need to make a few stops in on the way directly. So you're not go. So direct is like when this goes direct for that, it's just like that. But if it is not direct, it's like that, right? Go direct. Don't go left, don't go right, go straight, go direct. So then the next meaning of direct is the verb to direct so i'm going to direct you to can i direct your call can i set your call to another person direct your call what are the what do you direct how do you direct me how do you that's where the word director comes from it's like a movie director right director or director how can i direct your attention direct your attention but can i direct this message where should i direct this message where should i send this message to direct I want to direct this whole department. I want to command it. Who is in charge? I am directing this operation, right? I am leading it. I can tell you directly, straight, you know, in a straight away. Am I gonna direct you to the next operating system? So direct. The next one for Fort Ride is Frank. Frank is also of course, uh, a male name, Frank. Sometimes Frank could be actually short for Francis. But Frank means to be frank. Be frank with me. Did you like that performance or not? Tell me the truth. Be frank. Frankly speaking, I didn't really care much for it. Frankly speaking. Plainly speaking. He had a frank expression on him and his face. He was not lying. He was not, he was being very sincere, frank. Frankly speaking, I can't, I can't stand for this. To be frank, we don't have any more money. I'm going to be frank with you. There is a tremendous cause for concern. The next word for portrait is open. So open is a noun and an adjective, right? Open. Portrait, that's open, not closed, not shot, open. That's an open and shot case, open and closed case. Open, be open, allow things to come to you, be open. Then be open-minded, have an open mind. Be open-hearted, have an open heart. Are you closed or open? I'm open. Are you open to have a conversation? Yes, I am open. Are you, are you open to moving to a different address? Yes, I'm open to that. Open to. Then we have open as in open the door, the verb, open the door. But also we have this thing now in recent years. If an artist opens for another artist, I don't know, like if Britney Spears opens for Madonna or something, that's open. Right? Or if comedian opens for another comedian, you know, Joe Blow opens for Jerry Seinfeld. There is no comedian Joe Blow, so don't look for it. So to, op to open the floodgates, you open the floodgates, man, that's, you can't stop this anymore. Open your eyes, open your mouth, open, not close. Open that case, open that legal case, and then opening, you know, when there's an open thing, it's an opening, there's an opening. 
There's an opening in, in Safeway. They're looking for a cashier opening position, place that you can apply to. I just wanted to thank you again for coming and watching my videos. I know this is a lot of hard work. I know English can be frustrating. English can be confusing. You know, a million words are in this language. And, you know, starting English and learning is pretty easy. But the, the higher it goes, the more you master English, the harder it becomes. Because you can't then use any of all the rules that you learn because the only rule in English is that there's an exception for it. That's the only rule. So I appreciate you coming and watching my videos every day and know that when you do this, you know, you are investing on yourself. I've been doing this for more than 40 years and it's so worth it because after food, after you get your master in English, your English is going to be way better than the native speakers of the English and Americans because simply you've been working on it all your life while they just were born to it. The last word for portrait is straight. Get straight to the matter. Go straight. Go direct. Go in the same straight manner. Straight line. Zigzag line. Straight line. Be straight with me. Tell me the truth. Play straight. Don't play shifty and don't be shabby. Straight. Straightforward. That's a straightforward answer. Did you go to the movie yesterday or not? Give me a straightforward. And then straight can be an adjective. And then we have gay and we have straight. Right? So a person who is a straight is heterosexual, who is not gay. A straight person or straight. Are you gay or are you straight? And then there's another straight. This is S-T-R-A-G-I. S-T-R. S-T-R-A. I-G-H-T, but then there's another straight S-T-R-A-I-T, which is kind of a water way, and that's like straight, straight of hormones, is that. Are you going to go there? Yes, I'm going to go there straight away, right away, straight away. Go straight, go direct. Don't go left, don't go right, go straight. I'm going to have a, I'm going to straighten, straighten my life, and you know, Make everything right. Take a straight path. Take the direct path. Hey there, friend. Nice to meet you. I am Hamid. Sorry for the interruption. If you are enjoying this video and are looking to, to take your English fluency and vocabulary to the next level, I've got something special for you. I offer personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions tailored to your unique goals and interests whether you're focusing on grammar vocabulary pronunciation or all around communication skills i'm here to help you master english in a way that's fun and effective ready to elevate your english click on the link in the description below to book your session with me today let's embark on this journey to english mastery together don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks on mastering English. And these are a bit of legislation, okay? Act. Now, an act can be a part of a legislation. Act can be a verb and can be a noun. To act. I act in full confidence. Act. This is an act of war. Act. This is an act of kindness. This is an act of generosity. Act. You're acting like a criminal. You're acting like a hero. Acting. In a play, you have act for scene two. Act. Seems to be all an act. Nobody in this room is actually genuine. Everybody's playing. Everybody's acting. Actor. Somebody who acts, right? Can you act a little bit more enthusiastically? Act. Action. Where you have it in movies. Action. Action. Where the movie stars act. The next one for a bit of legislation is Bill. That bill went in front of the Congress. That bill went into in front of the Senate, right? The president is going to sign that bill into law. Bill. So bill also means, of course, you know, how much you charge somebody. Can I have the bill? Now, imagine, I, I told you about this. When you are in a restaurant, you never ask for the bill. You ask for the check. Okay, that's different. But bill, how much are you billing me? Well, I'm a lawyer. I'm billing you like $2,000 an hour. So they were crazy, right? Bill. These are my billable hours, the hours that I have worked and they need to be paid for. Bill of rights. This is a bill of rights. That, you know, 
Bill of Rights in the United Nations. Bill of Rights is what the humans, you know, Bill of Rights. I'm going to give you, give you a clean Bill of Health, as in your completely healthy, clean Bill of Health. Bill me, charge me, billable. So bill can be a noun, can be a verb. I'm going to bill you $900 for, you know, the two hours that you made me wait. Bill, to bill, and this is the bill. This is the bill of all the services you use and how much it costs. These are a bit of legislation measure. To measure, of course, means to, you know, measure. This is one meter, two meters, that's the measure. That's, you know, to measure the size of my hand, measure. But measure can also be part of legislation, a bit of legislation. And then there are measures. Have you, have you created certain measures? Have you invoked certain measures? Yes, I have. Some em certain emergency measures. Measures need to be taken to deal with this issue. Measure. My law for you is beyond measure. And then finally, a bit of legislation, resolution. You know, that we come to a resolution, Your Honor. We have come to an idea. Resolution comes from resolve. What is your resolution? What is your solution? Resolution, solution. Resolution comes from resolve. So you got great resolution, you know, the way you come up with this answer. Now, resolution also, of course, in the computers is resolution, the clarity of your screen. What's the higher your resolution, the more clear your screen is going to be. The following words are grassland, meadow. Meadow, you've got a beautiful meadow in front of your house. That meadow is gorgeous, meadow. So, you know, let's go frolic in the meadows. Meadow, meadowland, beautiful grassy area, meadow. Plain, P-L-A-I-N, plain can be a grassland. Plain is, you know, there's planes of existence. There's plain, P-L-A-I-N. That's a plain idea. That's an, an average idea. You're a plain person. You're not very interesting. Plainly speaking, as in speaking frankly, plainly. She was a plain woman, very normal, very average looking. So, and then plane of existence, realm of existence, you know, in this plane, in this realm, in this world. And then we have grassland prairie. You know, prairie is a certain type of grassland or there is, you know, grass and animals and things like that prairie and then the final grassland is savanna savanna is also a type of grassland you know savanna georgia is in the town savanna is colored like sahara savanna grassland then we have the group of words which means keep rhythm with the music bob so when you bob you bob your head you kind of just move your head back and forth that's bob now bobby in England is the name of cops. We call them Bobby. Clap, clap means like this. But then, you know, when everybody claps and they stand up, that's called a standing ovation. I'm clapping for you. I'm cheering you to clap, to cheer, to encourage. And then we have keep rhythm with music, snap. That's a snap, right? That's yourself is snap. But snap also has a verb is like snap at somebody. He snapped at me. Like somebody attacked somebody, snapped at them. Make it snappy, make it quick, right? Snappy. So snap, like in a snap, really fast, quick, snap. When will you get there in a snap? And snappy means really quick. Then we have the word tap. Now tap is when you do you, your feet, bam, 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 that's tap. Now tap has so many meanings. One meaning is tap, tap water, faucet, the water that comes from the faucet. In different countries, that tap water is drinkable or not drinkable. Or like in Thailand and in Mexico and Philippines, that tap water is not drinkable. Tap, that, this is to tap. Tap somebody on the back. The president tap her on the back to be the secretary of foreign, secretary of state, right? Tap, tap dancing. That's tap, tap something. Even there is a culture of tapping where you tap your own body to open yourself up. EFT is the tapping. Tap, to tap, to tap resources. You get a lot of uranium and copper. You need to tap into that resources. Untapped, 
the resources that have not been tapped. Okay. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. I hope you come back tomorrow.